Good afternoon, UCI. I hope your midterm week has been well and that you have a joyful weekend. Today, I want to take a special moment at the developing strategic plan of the University of California, Irvine. As I promised in the beginning of the quarter, I will be breaking down what the strategic plan is and what it entails for the students. First, what is the strategic plan, you might ask. The strategic plan, as the name sounds, is a plan that the university created once a decade to establish a set of goals and guidelines for the university, as well as the strategics that will help the university achieve these goals. If you think about what is the one document that entails everything about anything about how the university is to expand, function, and grow, the strategic plan would be that document. This is why it is of ultra importance for us as students to be aware of the plan, know what it includes, and help shape it in a way that would include what we want our university to look like. <clears throat> so what does the university um, strategic plan actually include? The plan includes four pillars designed to focus on four areas and different areas of the campus's vision for future. The first pillar is growth that makes a difference, expanding our capacity to improve lives. It's a long title, just like the other pillars are. This pillar focuses a lot on how UCI could emerge as a preeminent research institution and how we could expand our research areas and opportunities. It includes six goals, increasing research expenditures to $500 million annually, expanding the number of an impact of faculty, expanding the quality and impact of UCI health, creating opportunities and infrastructures for convergent science, develop, support, and promote new comprehensive research in initiatives that shed light on social problems and address regional and global grand challenges, and finally, make pervasive the impact of art, culture, creative expression, and humanistic inquiry on our broader research and educational mission. The second pillar is called First in Class, elevating the student experience to prepare future leaders. This pillar extensively focuses on students and the quality of education for students, from research to job preparation to overall experience. The, this pillar includes six goals that are listed here. Expand the student body to make UCI a first choice campus for students. Foster excellence in teaching and learning. Utilize modern technological tools to create the most effective learning environments. Integrate student life with educational experiences, ensure that UCI's educational opportunities are an engine for social mobility, impact, and uh, positive innovation, and lastly, build on the, students, uh, build on the success of UCI's campus-wide honors program by developing a new honors college. The third pillar is a great partners, making regional and global connections that enhance our mission and serve the people. This pillar specifically outlines how UCI will expand its community engagement and partnerships as well as its alumni relations. It has five goals, which are build an engagement culture, create a powerful and theater for life ethos that promotes ideal and sustained student and alumni participation, become a stronger partner with community organizations, Partner with the Orange County to develop a national model for how to live responsibly and well in the 21st century. And lastly, more broadly communicate and translate UCI's discoveries and innovations. Finally, the fourth and last pillar is called New Paths for Our Brilliant Future, Forging Best Practices to Power the Coming Century. The final pillar underlines the university's plan to support the growing functions of the university in various areas. It includes the following five goals. Develop a sustainable financial plan, making fundraising a central feature of our academic planning and leadership culture, bluster the pos and position staff to more effectively support the academic mission, expand, build, and maintain an excellent physical infrastructure, and ensure a high quality ubiquitous, secure, and robust information technology infrastructure. Beneath each of these goals that are established on the above pillars exists a set of strategies and guidelines for how the outline goal will be achieved. 
ASCCI will be convening a town hall to go over these guidelines and these points in more detail in the upcoming Thursday's Legislative Council from 5 to 7 p.m. at Woodscope, B.C. And we want you, anteaters, to participate in this discussion as it will impact the next decade of anteaters to come. So again, make sure you come to this event. And with that said, I want to end today by thanking you for joining the President's Corner and see you all next week. Thank you.